In today's video, we are going to talk about the pressure references of your altimeter. We're going to talk about the QNH, the 1013.25 hectopascal, the QFE, and then we will see why these pressure references are so important. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. In order to understand in full the video of today, we need to talk about how the altimeter works. I made separate video where I explain this in deep, however, very quickly, we can say that the altimeters, in order to provide you, in order to give you an altitude, for example, let's say you are at 3,000 feet, you look at your altimeters and you read 3,000. But how actually can the altimeter show you your altitudes? The altimeters takes as a reference a pressure reference, okay, that you set on your altimeters before flying. So this pressure reference is extremely important because by setting this pressure reference, you are saying to the altimeter, I want to know the difference expressed in feet between my aircraft and the pressure reference. So if you want to know the different feet between the mean sea level and the aircraft, you need to set a pressure reference that is at the mean sea level. And what the altimeter does, he knows the pressure, he feels the pressure around the aircraft and he knows the pressure reference that you set on the altimeters. So by subtracting the value, the pressure reference that you set on your altimeter minus the pressure that is around the aircraft, okay, it comes up with a difference in pressure, delta P. By each hectopascal of difference, he knows that there is roughly 30 feet. So what it does, he multiply the difference in hectopascal by 30. And with this calculation and with the result, it is able to give you the difference expressed in feet between your aircraft and the pressure reference that you set. But why these pressure references such as QNH, 1013 or the QFE that we're going to talk in a second are very important? It's because depending on your phase of flight, you need to use a different pressure reference. So let's talk about the first pressure reference that I want to talk to you. The first pressure reference is the QNH. The QNH is the pressure reference at the mean sea level. So if you want to know the difference in feet between your aircraft and the mean sea level that is called altitude, so when you fly altitudes, you need to know the difference expressed in feet between your aircraft and the mean sea level. So the pilot, in this case you, if you want to know the altitude of your aircraft, you need to use the pressure reference, so you need to use the QNH, the pressure reference at the mean sea level. So from the metal or from the ATC, you get this information, you set the QNH on the altimeter and you will be sure that you will be flying altitudes. Why this is so important? It's because when you're flying at low altitude, you want to be separated by the obstacles around you and the aircraft around you. So you need to set the QNH, use the pressure reference at the mean sea level, in that case the altimeter will be able to display your altitude. So by talking about pressure references, an aircraft that uses the QNH will fly altitude. The second pressure reference that I want to talk to you is the QFE, Quebec Echo, and that is a pressure reference of a specific aerodrome, of a specific field. A very quick way to remember the QFE, you can basically associate the F of the QFE to the field. So the field, okay, the QFE, is a pressure reference usually used for an airfield. So if you want to know the difference in feet between that aerodrome, that specific aerodrome, and your aircraft, you need to set the QFE. I've been flying for around 20 years, I've never used the QFE. However, if you want to know this information and flight height, in this case, so not altitude, but height, you need to set on the altimeter the QFE. Okay? So, if you want to fly flight levels, however, you need to set the standard pressure reference of 1013.25 hectopascal. So as you can see, depending on the phase of flight, depending on what is required to do, you can fly altitude when you use the QNH as a pressure reference, you can fly height when you use the QFE as a pressure reference, or you can fly flight level when you use the standard pressure reference of 1013.25 hectopascal. Just a few seconds to say thank you for subscribing and support my job. I'm here to help you to achieve your goals as a pilot. Remember, if you need an app to prepare your pilot interview, you can go to pilotclimb.com where you can book a private call with me or join the Pilot Climb Pilot Job interview course that I made available for you. So again, thank you very much. Now back to the video. 
So I hope this makes a little bit more clear what is the QNH, what is the QFE, or what is the standard pressure reference of 1013.25 hectopascal. When do you use them? Again, depends on the phase of flight. If you need and are required to fly altitude, you want to use the QNH. If you are required to fly height, you want to use the QFE. If you are required to fly flight levels, you're gonna use the 1013.25 hectopascal, which is standard. So guys, if you have any question, leave a comment below and I'll help you out. I wish a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Check, we can set to 7-0.